Hi, in this video I'm looking at these questions here where I'm changing vector A, which is in component form, to polar form, and vector B, which is in polar form, to component form. So let's have a look at question 1, which is looking at vector A. So, if I draw this on the Cartesian plane, I can have x and y, and I can draw in my vector. Vector A is negative 5 in the x direction, and... 9 in the y direction. So that gives me my vector A. And I want to find out what this is in polar form. Now for polar form I need to find two things. I need to find the magnitude of A. So I need to know how long A is. And I need to know the angle that A makes with the positive x-axis. So the angle marked in there. So if we have a look at the magnitude first, the magnitude is easy because it's just using Pythagoras. It's the square root of the x component squared plus the y component squared. So if I put this in with my matrix, that gives me negative 5 squared plus 9 squared. Working this out, I need the square root of 106 which means the magnitude of vector A is going to be 10.3. Now I can work out my angle. My angle is the angle from here around to the positive x-axis. It actually gets a bit easier if first I drop a vertical down and I actually think about trying to find this angle in here. If we find the angle that the vector makes to the x-axis, then whatever the closest x-axis is, then I can adjust to find out what the angle from the positive x-axis is. And this is useful because I now have my opposite, which is my 9, and my adjacent, which is 5, and I can use tan. So tan of our angle is the opposite over adjacent. And so tan of alpha is opposite 9 over adjacent 5, and it's always going to be y over x. That gives us the inverse tan of 9 over 5 will give us alpha, so that gives us an angle of 60.95 degrees. And so I can write my vector A um, now in polar form as 10.3,60.95 degrees. So now having a look at number 2, if I have a look at vector B of magnitude 6, vector B is magnitude 6, angle 245. So if I go and draw that on the Cartesian plane, so I have number 2, vector B is an angle of 245 degrees with 90, 180, 245 will be out this way somewhere, and it's got a magnitude of 6, and that gives us vector B. And I'll put in my angle as well of 245 degrees. Now this is a little bit easier to work out. We're after the x component and the y component. So we're after that distance x and this distance y. And these are a bit easier because my x distance is just going to be my magnitude of my vector b times the cos of my angle. So we're going to have 6 cos 245 which gives us an x of negative 2.54. And then doing the same for the y, but y is the magnitude of b sine the angle, theta. And y is going to be 6 sine 2.45 which gives us a y of negative 5.44. And so I can write my vector b as a 
component vector of negative 2.54 comma negative 5.44 and that's it. So if you were trying to turn a polar vector into a component vector the x component is b cos the angle the y component is the magnitude sine the angle if you're trying to turn a component vector into a polar vector you need to use Pythagoras to get you the magnitude and tan to get you the angle.